Storm Team 4 now. We're going to take a live look at Port Washington. You can see that rain is falling in the area, maybe a little bit of that freezing. That winter storm warning and some other advisories are still in effect right now, and this is pretty much the least of it. Brian Nisnansky yeah. here with us this afternoon, and Brian. It's been a nasty transition this morning from first starting off with some snow, then we all went to rain, then the ice, and now back to snow. You name it, we got it. Yeah. And we're going to get more snow? Uh, here in Milwaukee, we're going to transition eventually over to some snow, probably within the next, uh, I would say, hour or two. Now, check this out. These are freezing rain reports. Uh, you can see Jackson at two-tenths of an inch of freezing rain, Waukesha two-tenths, and these are some older reports, so certainly there could be some higher amounts than what you're seeing here, and it has been enough ice to bring down some tree limbs and some power lines across the area. Now, here's a look at some of the snow totals. Not very impressive, but you can see some of the northern spots up to five inches of snow in Sheboygan County in Plymouth. Here's a live look in Waukesha, one of those locations that again had that ice this morning and we're starting to see a few more snowflakes on the camera in Waukesha. Current temperature at 30 degrees, so below that freezing mark in Waukesha. Currently in Milwaukee, 34 degrees, so still above the freezing mark, which is great news for us, but eventually we're going to start to dip with our temperatures. Here's a look across southeastern Wisconsin where you have a temperature of 30 degrees in Beaver Dam, 30 in Waukesha, 32 in Burlington, and 33 in Port Washington. Here's a look at the Storm Team 4 Max radar, and again, you can see that we do have quite a bit of rain right across the southeastern corner of the state. Notice that transition over to some snow over towards Waukesha and Oconomowoc, and each one of these are ice storm reports, and again, we could see some icing for our western spots northwest of Milwaukee. Let's go through future forecasts here as we head into the late afternoon and evening. This is 6 p.m. and notice how everybody has changed back over to all snow. And again, it could be a very slick evening commute if we see the snow develop. Now, by 9 o'clock, the snow starts to work out of here. I think we're in the clear by then and we might just have some blowing and drifting of snow. Additional ice accumulation into the afternoon up to around 13 one hundredths of an inch in Waukesha. And again, this is enough ice to create some slick roads and also bring down some trees and power lines. As much snow as we can expect, well, it looks like about one to three inches total for Milwaukee Metro. The higher amounts, the farther north you go up towards Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. Again, five, six, seven inches of snow. Winter weather advisory in effect until 4 p.m. for our Purple counties here, including Ozaukee County, Washington, over towards Dodge County, Waukesha, and Milwaukee County under that winter weather advisory until 4 p.m. Winter storm warning still in effect for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. Let's go through your storm timeline. Again, we're looking at a rain to eventual mix from now until 2 p.m. in Milwaukee. From 2 p.m. until 4 p.m., a wintry mix over to snow, up to an inch of snow during that time frame. And then from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., all snow, another inch or two of snow here in Milwaukee. By 7 p.m. to midnight, the snow comes to an end. It's still going to be windy, and we're still going to have some blowing snow. So your forecast for the remainder of today, windy with a mix to snow, one to three inches of total snow with heavier amounts, of course, the farther north you go, 36 for your high temperature, but that high probably already hit and we're starting to fall this afternoon. 36 for tonight, snow ending, windy with decreasing clouds. Here's your seven day forecast. 40 on Friday, 45 on Saturday. We're going to look for a rain or wintry mix again Saturday. It doesn't look to be a big deal at this point. 44 on Easter Sunday with mostly cloudy skies, 44 on Monday. Looks good, middle part of next week. By next week, Tuesday and into Wednesday, high temperatures back into the 50s, which would be a welcome sight, fantastic. But again, take it easy on the roads out there this morning. Again, we're gonna watch the ice transition over to that snow and a couple inches of snow in the Milwaukee area, guys. All right, we can just get through this weekend, maybe we're done. Right on. What do you think? All right, maybe. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> maybe. Don't speak too right, soon, maybe. Yeah. Heavy snow.